Hello, I'm Matt Hoots with Rated Green. This video is part of a series. The rest of the videos with titles and links to the other videos are in the description below. So continuity without taking this perfect wall and continuing it to the roof and to the floor, you start to have, you, you can risk having a failure in that enclosure. So if you, for, for, as you're building up these layers, everywhere that there's a potential for a break in that, in that layer, you have to address it and make sure that everything stays continuous. Uh, this is, so the perf, here we are with the, those control layers shown, and this is just a schematic of what I'm talking about, the wall, the roof, and the floor all being continuous and wrapping the entire structure like an igloo, um, like a cooler, you have, this is our, this is our perfect, perfect assembly. Uh, this diagram on to the right here is from a project that we are finishing up building right now uh, here in Atlanta that uh, we've got seven inches of of uh, stone wall on the roof and four inches on the exterior on the walls and you can see it's just absolutely continuous we've created overhangs to the ex to the outside of the structure so we've attached them to the sheathing and they cantilever out and we just ran the insulation out here and that helps us with keep our temperature regulate the temperature of our uh, framing regulated as well because without the insulation wrapping the outriggers, they will expand and contract differently than our fiber cement. And then we start getting gaps and cracks where we don't want them. So that's, that's why we decide to continue this overhang to the exterior. And uh, we'll show another project later where we didn't have any overhangs and it just became this, this sort of, uh, this principle here, the continuity form followed function. So the function is, keeping the insulation continuous, and then the form of the building uh, was, was informed by this uh, function. So I'm, 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 not a, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna feel bad about mentioning air tightness over and over again. It is, it is just absolutely critical. Uh, we wanna, if we condition inside, you know, we want to keep that conditioned air in and we don't want the bad air to get in. So keep it, keep good air in, bad air out. Um, having absolute air tightness, it does control humidity. Every project that we have here in the Southeast, which we are known for high levels of humidity, we are, we haven't, we don't have a single dehumidifier in any of these homes, but it with with two with one exception and that has to do with the system that we use and the size of and the the frequency that the building is being used so we're using you know a ducted versus a ductless the ductless don't doesn't have the right as the same moisture removal capacity as the ducted do so we are we did put a dehumidifier in there but these homes have been tested for we've been monitoring them for for a few years and we've had zero issues with relative humidity in the homes and i attribute that primarily to the air tightness and the proper sizing of our mechanical systems um, so with air comes moisture and so having an airtight building you control how much air how much moisture is getting into the home uh, heat loss and gain you know that's with air you can also carry heat um, moisture carries heat and air carries moisture. So you're creating, by creating an airtight shell, you're controlling heat loss and gain. Critters, uh, you, we found our tiny house in Florida, we uh, don't have, I mean, there cockroaches are a plenty down there and we don't get any in our home. Um, we've had seen one come through the front door because we left it open. Uh, pollution, obviously that's the bad air, so we wanna keep that out. The house we just finished, uh, we uh, are well actually about to finish, and we'll I'll show you some details there. We achieved a uh, 0.05 ACH50 there. That's 
that's correct, 0 0.05, which is um, about 10, I guess that's 10 times the allowed, uh, 10 times tighter than the allowable uh, for, by the local building code. And this, this house right now, we've got a small dehumidifier running in there and yesterday was super high humidity, so it's pretty warm. Our HVAC crew came in to do their, their finish up the, to install the outdoor unit. And when they walked inside, they said, hey, what do you, do you have AC running in here? Because it's quite cool. And it's because the building shell is so tight, we're not allowing, and the doors are shut, so we're, we're not allowing that moisture to stay in. And whatever moisture is in there is being evacuated by this uh, dehumidifier. And so, you know, it's a small one you get from uh, Ace Hardware, so it's not, it's not anything commercial. Thanks for watching this video. For your convenience, we've loaded up the next video as part of this series. If you enjoyed this video, give Chris and Dan a thumbs up.